Some things. Come on. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Oh, God, we heard last night that if you just break through in the wall, if you break through in the ceiling, and you just want to get in the place of Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We heard that the spirit of Ritzbach come on you and God will bury some things. Oh, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. God is ready to deliver this city. He's ready to deliver this state. He's ready to bring this state out of the dilemma that it, that is in right now. Hallelujah. There's, some too, there's too many people that's too fat in the flesh. And God said, I want, to, I want, to, I want you to get fat in the anointing. You shouldn't be hitting your head down and be unemployed, but you should keep your head lifted up to the heels. I can testify about that. I was unemployed for almost two years. Two years. But then God opened up a door because I didn't keep my head down. Oh my God. So I was lifting my head up. Y'all not hear me? Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So God wants to deliver you. The Bible declares Jesus said, whom the Son set free is what? Free. You are free. You've already been made free. You've already been declared delivered in your situation. But the problem for, for some of us, for, for a lot of us, is that we come out and then we go back in. And it's not what you call a familiar spirit. We, we become familiar with our situation. So God delivers us from smoking, but when hard times come, we start smoking again. God delivered you from that sex demon, but when hard times come, you go right back into it again. God delivers you from lying, but when hard times come, and you don't lie to tell the truth, and you think telling the truth will get you in trouble, you go back to lying again. But, but, but God said that now is the time for you to be delivered. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, labor. Yeah. After tonight, yeah. the prophet said, the prophet I'm going to be delivered. Clap your hands up to God. You got to walk in the level of belief. I'm prophesying right now. You may not know it. But some of y'all getting used, some of y'all getting too used to people calling you up and laying their hands on you and telling you you're gonna get a car and you're gonna get a house and you don't have no good credit. Oh God. Come on. I'm declaring to you tonight that God's gonna deliver you. To give you a little background in Isaiah 43, we find that the people of Israel once again are coming out of bondage. God's about to deliver them again. It, 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 it troubles me that when God delivers you one time, you, you don't understand that uh, once you've been made free, uh, you don't have to go back into that situation again. And, and so we see even back in the, the book of Genesis, around the 16th chapter, we see that God calls on Abraham and tells Abraham, you out of your seed, is, out of your seed, out of your womb is going to come great nations. But this great nation is going to be in bondage for 400 years. And then we go into the book of Exodus and we see that Israel, because of their abundance, have been in captivity for over 400 years. Somebody say 400 years. Some of y'all been in situations for four years and for 40 days and for four months and, and for four days. Oh my God, but God said the deliverer is coming in your situation. Right? And so we see now uh, in the book of Exodus that God delivers the children of Israel uh, out of their bondage. Now the deliverer by the name of Moses has come uh, and he has declared to Pharaoh, uh, let my people go. Oh my God, you got to look at your situation uh, and say, situation, let me go. you got to look at your heartache and say, heartache, let me go. Somebody say, God, let me go. And so we find here, oh my God, we find here that Moses leads the children of Israel out of their captivity. And we find that the glory of God is resting upon the children of Israel. Matter of fact, not only is it resting upon them, but it's leaving them by fire and by cloud by day. Y'all hear me? And when they get hungry, manna is coming. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Because in your state of deliverance, God said, not only is the glory going to be with you, but I'm going to feed you. You. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to provide for you. So we see in the 
the history of Israel. Israel goes in and out of captivity because of idolatry. Look at somebody say idolatry. Is, idolatry is serving other gods. God declared that you shall have no other God before me. And if you have another God before him, he will put you in. Oh my God. Your mind will go into a state of reprobation. That means you will go into sin and think it's all right. Oh God. Oh God. And so the children of Israel, they were in sin and thought it was all right. Some of y'all in sin right now and think it's all right. That's why it's hard for you to come to church. That's why it's hard for you to pray. That's why it's hard for you to read your word because you're in sin and you think it's all right. And so we here we find we we're here in, in Isaiah 43 and we and we see that in in the book in the, in the first verse. God says to the prophet Isaiah, he said, but now, in spite of the past judgments for Israel's sins, it's despite of your past sins, despite of what you've been through, and despite what you did in your past, this is what the Lord said, he created you, he formed you, and he's saying, fear not now. He said, because this go round, this deliverance right now, you can't have no fear. In this deliverance right now, you can't afford to go back. In this deliverance right now, you, oh my God, you can't put your hand on it. Because I'm delivering you. Look at somebody say, he's delivering me. Tonight. 